Stephen A. Smith got caught capping. Let's start putting on blast for capping. Did what you had to do to get in with ESPN and when they suspended you that one time for what you said about women, you promised them you're gonna be a good boy after that. Corey Holcomb drops bombs on Stephen A. Smith's college basketball career. They wanna do numbers like like Cat did that oh. day, but that's not yeah. gonna happen. But mm. these is, is actually jumping off. We starting with Stephen A. Her feelings for Captain Smith. Oh, 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 oh. Man, oh, I was laughing like a bug. He let that bug get up under his skin. But Stephen A. Smith got caught capping. Let's start putting us on blast for capping. <laughs> if you capping, you capping. Motherfucker, Stephen A. Smith lied about hooping for Winston Salem State. It was all a cap, because when you put that in your little memoir book, a <laughs> put ass book, you know niggas ain't reading that shit anyway. But for them motherfuckers that be trying to get at his ass, they read it, mm. and they caught you up, didn't they? Yeah, it's been a very inconsistent story, Stephen A's retelling of his college career like i covered it on this channel a while back but you know he's allowing jason whitlock to get in there and really do some damage because of the inconsistencies like if he was just honest about it and say yo i played a couple games you know i didn't do well or i didn't play at all like it would be much easier you know right now he's just allowing himself to uh be exposed to the criticism. You think it, you're talking about something that was 40 years ago, most likely. You know, why can't you just be transparent, fully transparent about it? Allegedly, you said some shit that I was uh, in agreement with. When a mother get caught, he don't never say you lying. He get to talk about you. Yeah, a fat bastard. A <laughs> fat bastard. A fat bastard that has gotten away for far too long. You can't stand that. He is a fat bass. Both of y'all the same type of thing, but he <laughs> caught you, Stephen A. You was capping. Mm. Because Cat Williams said, somebody at industry plant, now that word out there. Yep. Oh, 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 man. What's the fat name? Um, um, Whitlock. Man, what's this bastard name? The nigga said, he, I used to be a friend of Corey's. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jason Whitlock. Yeah. This month, Caught you up, Stephen A. He is a fat bastard. He oh. looking for clout. All that shit. But you got busted out for lying and said you was a hooper. And you ain't never hooped <laughs> out your own mouth after you lied and said you did a hoop for Winston-Salem State. Get your capping ass out of here. We know you're an industry plant, dog. You motherfucking, you motherfucking. Talk about black people on ESPN. You you do that for your boss so you can have some money. For those of you who don't know, this is coming from the dunk creator. Corey was a college a college basketball player. So, you know, like for him to say what he's saying here, he's coming from an experienced position. You know what I mean? So I think that's interesting that uh that he could kind of sniff sniff it out on Steven. He could kind of tell that Steven wasn't necessarily being forthright about his career and his stats. First of all, when I saw you walking, I knew you ain't never hoop. <laughs> that nigga walked with his pelvic forward. Uh -oh. Like a fat <laughs> All <laughs> niggas who walk and they pelvic be in front, I don't like you. <laughs> walk with a sort of limp to it because your knees be hurt. Right. All that shit. I saw Stephen A on the motherfucking NBA court one day. Had on a little jacket and shit that he got with his little money they paid at ESPN. What Jay Z said. I got my swag, yo, I walk like a ball player. It's true. Yeah, you're dealing with aches and pains and issues, and yeah, it caused you to have a different demeanor, even. You know what I mean? And you, you gotta be cool with it. You know, you gotta put your swag on it. Like a fat. <laughs> All <laughs> who walk and they pelvic be in front, I don't like you. <laughs> Hoopers walk <laughs> with a sort of limp to it because your knees be hurting. All that I saw Stephen A on the NBA court one day. Had on a little jacket and 
got with his little money they paid ESPN, and he was walking with his pelvic forward. I was like, hey, that's a goofy, dog. Niggas <laughs> don't even walk with their pelvic forward. Nigga. Get your goof ass out of here, nigga. You ain't hoop, nigga. A lot of motherfuckers peeped it. A lot of motherfuckers peeped it. You get caught. You a you you a plant for ESPN. Y'all have meetings in the morning, and they tell you what they want you to say. How they want you to dog out brothers and sisters on ESPN. And the main reason you was mad at garbage-ass Jason Whitlock is because you was bust out in front of your colleagues. Your colleagues saw you was capping, and they was making fun of it. The, 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 the awful... Malika Andrews, oh. she was kind of poking at you in one of her things. Yeah. Stephen A, man, you lying about that, nigga? You lied about hooping? <laughs> Yo, goof ass? Yeah, Damn. That's terrible. I used to hoop for Winston Salem State. I cracked my knee. He sounded like Mike Tyson after that one fight. Oh. I cracked my back. <laughs> I broke my back. What do you mean by that? You my broke back, back is broken. What, a, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. <laughs> what said, uh, what, 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 Broke my back. Spinal. <laughs> spinal. Spinal what? <laughs> Get your goof ass out of here, man. Spinal. He said, I cracked my knee. I didn't play. Well, how did you average one point? Uh, one and a half, half points. Get your goof ass out of here, Stephen A. You busted out. You capping. Wait, it so ain't... did he play or not? What's one and a half no, points? No, he ain't say... never played. So it was a total fib? He said he cracked his knee and he had to go back home and use his mama insurance and all that sucker <laughs> shit. Nigga, that's a <laughs> cap. He got her involved in the lie, too? He put his mama in the lie. That's a cap, nigga. That's no... Put his ass on blast. Laugh at the mother. Yeah, it's interesting because you know what? You don't need to be an athlete to be an ESPN correspondent, right? You don't. So, you know, I, I guess the only reason to really embellish on your story, you know, allegedly, I'm still say allegedly, I guess, but the only reason to embellish on your story is to gain some type of authority in the space to be like, nah, 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 I can talk about this because I can talk about this freely because I have history as a, as a ball player. But if we go on by that, even still, somebody like Corey Holcomb or even Jason Whitlock, who actually played college football or basketball, like they would have more authority in the space than a Stephen A., you know, then you got to ask, you're like, what, what, uh, what other bona fides do you have? Do you, you know, if you, are you a writer? You know, uh, Jason Whitlock is a writer. I think Stephen A was actually a writer too. And I think that's one of the areas, like after he got injured, uh, he said, he said he became like a, maybe a reporter for the school newspaper. Don't quote me. I haven't read the book. <laughs> Don't plan to necessarily. Um, this, it's not interesting to me, you know what I mean? Like, I think Corey is right about that. I don't want to read the memoir. The memoir. Don't want to read the memoir. <laughs> Stephen A. Now, granted, like, this is the other thing. This is why he should have never engaged with Jess, Jason Whitlock. Because you're exposing insecurities, and Jason Whitlock is being methodical. He's taking second, he's taking four episodes and just slowly dripping it out all the information or inconsistencies in your book and it's like you know you're going to get criticized either way you know you're in a good position you should just let it ride you know what i mean but i think now with the advent of you know professional athletes former professional athletes actually becoming podcasters and you know or actually becoming sitting at the sports desk like it's starting to look like the days of the Stephen A. Smith type of ESPN hosts are going. And I think that fuels some of the insecurity. But you had a great run, you know what I mean? This is 20, 30 year career here, you know what I'm saying? And you have made your mark, you made your millions. 
Now, I see, I like what he's doing with the YouTube channel. I like how he's kind of expanding, you know what I mean? But if the story would have checked out, it wouldn't have floated around so much over the years. And I think that's what Corey was getting at. But either way, that was funny. Um, <laughs> if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification for all uploads. If you want to watch more, please watch one of these videos down below. Please join the Patreon. The link is in the description. This is Fawcett Media.